Microsoft has never offered a truly great media player for Windows users. If the file format is unusual, or even worse, has DRM, then the pre-installed movies and TV app just won't play it. And don't even think about trying the ancient Windows media player either. With that in mind, you'll need to install a top quality media player, capable of playing any type of file you throw at it. And you won't need to pay for the privilege either, because here are some of the best free media players for Windows you can install today. VLC Media Player. When the movies and TV app doesn't play your content, the first free media player most Windows users will download is VLC Media Player. It remains one of the most well-known and arguably best media players available for any platform, including Windows. It's rare that VLC won't be able to play a media file, with exceptions for files that are encrypted or have been corrupted. It can play local media files as well as handle internet live streams and broadcast content from other local sources, like a digital TV receiver. VLC can also help you convert video files from one format to another, save YouTube videos for offline playback, and record your own video using your webcam. If you're a music fan, you can use VLC to play your music with your own VLC music playlist. Media Player Classic. With a name like Media Player Classic, you can assume this media player has been around for a while. In fact, MPC-HC, with the HC standing for home cinema, is a fork of the original with added features and bug fixes. Simple, quick, and easy to use, MPC-HC is a lightweight alternative to other free media players, especially on low resource Windows PCs. Don't be put off by the dated interface because MPC-HC is one of the most capable media players available. Like VLC, it handles common and unusual media files with playback for DVDs and live streams included. It's also customizable, with interface skins and plugins able to extend functionality much further. The one downside to MPC-HC is that development has stalled, meaning there's been no new features or fixes since 2017. It still runs great on Windows 10, however, and it's still one of the best media players, especially for older PCs. MPV. I'm happy to report that VLC isn't the only active open source media player in development. MPV is another fork project taking the best bits of the older mPlayer and mPlayer2 projects and adding new features and new interface elements along the way. In fact, MPV doesn't have much of an interface at all. Media controls are hidden during playback, although they will appear if you hover over it. You can't access any settings either. To play files, you just drag them into the open window. This might not appeal to everyone, but it's certainly a different approach. MPV has other standout features too, including a number of third-party scripts that add additional functionality to the software, allowing you to customize the way MPV plays your content. As for playing your favorite media files, MPV just works. It can play pretty much every type of video format, including online and local streaming. All Player. All Player might not be as well known as some of the other best media players, but it shouldn't be discounted. It calls itself the best media player for subtitles, and that is not too far from the truth. Not only are subtitles well supported in all player, but the software will search for and automatically download subtitles for media content it recognizes. It also supports common media formats, including high resolution files in 4K. If you're hearing impaired, all player makes watching your video content a simple process. Visually impaired users can take advantage of all player's speech synthesizer to read out subtitles too, allowing you to watch movies in a foreign language. Development on AllPlayer is active and includes remote control apps for mobile devices. If you don't like any of these players, check out the article linked in the description below. Alternatively, if there is a media player you really love, let us know in the comments. See you next time, guys.